Yeah, that's what we can call expectations versus reality. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and by popular request, although I've done this many times before, I'm gonna do a full day of eating, so you guys are gonna see what I would eat kind of, kind of in an average day, average. Um, I don't have an average day per se, I don't follow a certain diet, I don't follow a meal plan, etc. cetera. Um, the one thing I do do is I count my macros, and so really it's, which is just a means of essentially counting calories and or how many grams of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins I wanna consume, and whatever I throw into that substantiates that as long as it equals the net equation, my desired goals in the end, it's fair game and it what it is. So what am I gonna eat today? Well, so this is this last week or two has been crazy. Um, I have been basically quarantining, so my schedule's just really messed up. Um, now if I work out during the day or work out that day, like just at home here, I eat more. If I don't, I eat less. Today is not a workout day, so I will be having less. So I was up, don't, please, this is not, the timing of this is not normal, but I eat the same whatever every day. Um, so it is 7.06 p.m. 7.07 now. And uh, I haven't eaten anything yet today, but I was actually up all night. So like I technically ate really, 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 really late last night. So yeah, to make a long story short, um, first time eating today uh, is seven o'clock. Not that I would ever recommend that guys. Um, in fact, science shows more benefit to having breakfast. Um, if you're doing cardio, there's more benefit. Science is suggesting more benefit for fat loss um, to actually do non-fasted cardio, etc. This is just me giving you the real whatever, whatever. So let's eat some food. All right, so I'm just kind of preparing a few things. So first off, I have, um, this is uh, some soft leafed cabbage. I just cut it up. Um, probably somewhere between, I really don't know how much it is. At least a pound, pound and a half, maybe two pounds. It's like a big thing. I just cut it up and I'm going to put some calorie wise craft coleslaw dressing on it. And then, I'm gonna have two pieces of toast, which is a uh, country harvest, flax, quinoa bread. Um, it's pretty much just a bread. I like pretty much with the mind, bread is bread. Uh, the one thing I do like with this, just a little bit of mango threes in it, which is great. And then I'm eating it with some, I can't believe it's not butter, the light version. Generally, I just kind of eat it out like this. Dip it in it. Or, if I'm feeling bougie, I grab a knife and I spread it out. I'm a very simple man. I'm a simple person. And I appreciate things for what they are. And then my second piece. And I mean, this I'm just kind of eyeballing. The, uh, but it's probably between my two pieces, I don't know, four teaspoons probably, four to five teaspoons. Actually is nicer when you spread it on it, it melts a little bit, and then when it melts a little bit. Brings with the buttery flavor more. Which is delicious. I can't believe it's not butter. Tastes pretty dang similar to butter. Then for my cabbage, I'm just good, basically gonna put as much as this dressing to my desired consistency. I mean, essentially this is, I'm making coleslaw, essentially, but I'm just kind of using it as my, my vegetables. So um, I consume lots of vegetables a day. It's, I mean, one, I consume them A for health, but I also just really enjoy them. I also consume quite, what we argued is quite a bit of fruit a day. About 100 grams of carbohydrates from fruit. So if it was apples, it'd be like probably like four apples. If it was grapes, probably like a pound of grapes. Um, that kind of thingy thing. And yeah, so this is going to be some cabbage. And then I'll probably, I, well, I'm for sure we'll have some carrots later. And uh, that's about it. Let's see how if I need to add some more or not. Nope. All right, let's go. A nice consistency. I think at least. Let's 
give another give it another try. It's good. Still good. And then I am having a piece of chicken, um, at least one to start. Probably know in a bit, but it's like a like thigh slash leg attached. There's the bone just ripped out. I just literally roasted in the oven. I just literally threw it in the oven, uh, ripped the skin off. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not a skin person. I don't see value in it myself. The only time I eat it is if it's on fried chicken because you need to eat it to get the breading. Um, then I'm gonna have it with some barbecue sauce. This is a new barbecue sauce. I've never had this. I got it because it was on clearance. It's called Mother Raw, but it's just a barbecue sauce, but otherwise I use just a delicious, normal tasting barbecue sauce. And then I always mix it with um, a hot sauce. So here is a, what is supposed to be very hot, habanero, extra picante, um, hot sauce. So let's try this. And I mean, all I do is dip my chicken in it, in the mixture of barbecue sauce and hot sauce, which is probably one of my favorite whoops, sauce mixtures. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, I've never had this mother raw before. It's really weird. Like the main ingredient is date puree. It has to actually remain refrigerated. It's some weird, natural, bougie stuff that I would never buy. I'm not into that stuff at all, guys. I'm very, I go by science and real science, the academic literature. And I'm still yet to uh, see any benefit to a lot of those products. All right, and then to show you what I'm doing here. So I just got my barbecue sauce. And I'm just dousing it in hot sauce. Extra picante for me. Mm -hmm. I like it spicy. I really like spice. I, I eat a lot of hot sauce and whatever, or I'm just eating normally. But again, not like ghost pepper level. Um, I also eat quite a bit with my hands admittingly, and I often kind of, you know, eat standing up just like this, to be honest, this is pretty normal. Because normally I'll eat this, I find this is really messy. Um, so I eat it over this. In fact, I should probably should not be wearing a white uh, white shirt. Oh, I'll show you. So just douse it in sauce. Hmm. I'm not impressed by that barbecue sauce at all. That is not very nice tasting, to be honest. Not at all. I almost go to far to say that's disgusting. Well, now we know a plant-based barbecue sauce is disgusting. Would not recommend like, at all. Like I'm querying whether I'm even gonna eat this. There's a really weird taste to it. Cloves, that's it. it. Tastes like cloves, which is really odd. I'm kind of getting some weird Christmas vibes. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a barbecue sauce and just does not go at all. Zero, zero out of 10, negative out of 10. But um, yeah, I just about that. So eat this. I still have my coleslaw that I didn't finish that yet, which I'm gonna, you know, eat. I'll take that over to my computer. And then I am going to um, get some fruit. And that'll be that. I also don't do meals. I just basically, again, eat until, I mean, the whole day I just eat until I hit my macros. But at the moment, I just eat kind of as much as I want within my macros. And uh, that'll be about that. But normally, normally I would have a nice barbecue sauce. 
which is delicious. Because if you've never had this mixture of barbecue sauce and hot sauce, it's one of my favorite. Damn good. I've also mixed um, ketchup and hot sauce before, and that's not bad. But I actually also don't normally stock ketchup here. As much as I like ketchup, I like it a lot. But it's almost like a thing that I only enjoy when I go to a restaurant. So it's very um, kind of special to me. That being said, I did actually buy ketchup today for the first time in forever. But it's not something I normally keep at home. Not bad. I can't say very good. Normally I'd say very good, but that barbecue sauce is horrible. But yeah, so now I'm gonna grab some fruit and take my coleslaw over. Get back to editing. So at the old workstation, I got myself some water, cause water, it's really all I drink generally, leisurely. Uh, I still got my coleslaw, which we'll get through. Then I have a bundle of grapes and an apple. So probably about 50 grams of carbs in fruit. So this will bring us about 80 grams of carbs, protein, probably somewhere-ish, around 40-ish. Um, depending on the day, like, like Will I count the bit from the bread? It kind of depends at the end of the day. If I include that, probably like 50 grams of protein. Um, we'll say 40 for now. I won't really count the cal like the carbohydrates in the barbecue sauce. And uh, then fat, we have a bit of fat. Um, I'll add it up later, but probably maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 grams, something like that. Um, including all the uh, dressing and the coleslaw, the chicken, and the breads, 10, 25, yeah, let's say 40, 45. So that's about that. So I'm gonna do some editing and uh, when I eat anything else, I'll show you. And a little bundle of grapes and a carrot. And in case you're wondering, it is 8.26. And we have about two pieces of bread. Well, I'll call it toast, but it's just bread. My toast just popped, and I'm gonna have another uh, chicken quarter. This one's smaller than the last one. So, yeah, the last one is pretty big. This one's much, at least considerably smaller. For my toast, again, I'm doing some, I uh, can't believe it's not butter, at least on this slice. I might put some jam on the other one. I do like this stuff. I've recently actually been eating a lot of it. YOLO. And on this piece, I'm having some raspberry jam. I've been eating a lot of bread recently, just cause it's convenient and I really like the taste of that. But, in the end, it's just a carbohydrate. All right, so just had my toast, my second round of toast. Um, again, I'm gonna have this chicken that I put in the microwave. Time is 9.14. And I'm gonna have more of this horrible barbecue sauce. Um, I do have other stuff, but I'm gonna use this because I wanna use it up now. It's really horrible. Mother raw, horrible stuff, never would recommend. But, Hot sauce makes it a little better. Lots of hot sauce it makes it better. And for the record, I can eat like a civilized person. I can get dressed up, go have nice dinners, which I do. They're just never captured on camera. Um, so I think that'd be kind of maybe funny for certain people to imagine, but I can eat very civilized in a very professional, delicate manner. Obviously, this is how I eat food challenges. This is how I eat when I'm just home alone, working and stuff. And yeah, so there's always, you know, there's different ways to act for different situations. Then I'm heading back to the computer with another carrot, another apple, 
that many grapes is a very small half loaf bread. Mm. Mm. Which is so good. And more water. All right, so it is just after midnight. Like I said, guys, this was an off day. My my hours are going to be up a little later, and, although it shouldn't be up too much longer. So uh, I'm going to have about one cup, like 250 mils of, this is a Joya. This is like an ultra-filtered milk. Uh, it's chocolate. If you're not familiar, ultra-filtered milks, they generally have more protein, less carbohydrates. And this one also has um, Splenda, so it's a lot less sugar. So for example, uh, 250 mils has five grams of fat, only 11 grams of carbs and 15 grams of protein. So about double the protein of a regular chocolate milk and probably two, like a half to one third of it. So it's very good. Mm. If you never had an ultra filtered milk, there's a few brands. Joy is just one of them. What's the other one? Fairlife is common. A whole bunch of brands. Even um, this one's again, just chocolate but even the normal one is very, it's a lot sweeter. Uh, I find it's a lot sweeter than like a traditional milk. And, and I find generally seems more rich and creamy. So I like it. So that's that. I'm gonna have a carrot with just a tiny, tiny bit of my favorite, poppy seed dressing calorie wise. Um, if you can't tell, I've been on a salad dressing kick the last little bit. And uh, probably another two pieces of bread. And that's gonna be the majority of what we eat today. But uh, I'll update you as we go. So believe it or not, I eat a lot of carrots. Partially preference, partially they're just very cheap and generally readily available. It's kind of a deal, but like that. And then I'll just... I probably average about a pound of carrot a day, and that's average. I have some hyperkeratinemia. Sometimes on my face, you can see my face. And I mean, these are calluses, but, well, those are calluses too, but it brings out uh, more of an orange tinge on certain, uh, in certain areas of my hands. It is true. If you eat too many carrots, you actually can turn orange. All right, now this is a risky one. Uh, doing it with a white shirt, usually I do it over the sink. So this is something I actually like to do. I actually like, I really like spaghetti sauce, like pasta sauce, and sometimes I eat it on bread. Um, I have like this half open jar of pasta sauce in there, so I'm just gonna use it up. So just kind of pour it all over. And I just eat it. Where this originated from is because pasta sauce is very like salty and delicious. I'm turning the kettle off. It's salty, delicious, and um, it does have some technical, you know, vitamins, minerals, uh, vegetables in it. Whenever I didn't want to have it like any or many more calories. I put it on broccoli, which pasta sauce on broccoli tastes delicious. And I know I dip it in it, especially back in the day. In my young years, my mother would like make a really nice like meat sauce and uh, they like ate all the carbs I wanted to and grab some broccoli and use it as a dip. And it's a great way to also eat your broccoli and eat pasta sauce and all the proteins and everything else it has all in one. So, and honestly, that's delicious. That's exactly what I want right now. I want some salty. It's very delicious. It's a weird one. Okay, it's a weird one. But you can't knock it until you try it, all right? So once you guys try it, then you can knock it. But until you do, I really like it. And like the more the merrier, but it is a little messy cause, and a little dangerous because it's like a blob. It's even more difficult trying to talk and do this at the same time. 
Alright everyone, so it's like 2 a.m. which is messed up. Like I said, my sleep schedule is very off, very messed up today. So, but I'm going to bed right now. <clears throat> um, you guys watched me put everything that contained calories in my mouth so far today, uh, with the exception of when I was putting my chicken away, I pulled like a little piece of chicken, like the size of my pinky finger off and ate that. Um, total macros for the day were probably like, let's say 90-ish grams of fat, 200-ish carbs, and probably about 110 ish grams of protein, 110, 120 maybe. So, uh, which is probably somewhere around like 2100 calories-ish, 22 maybe. So I'm, I'm gonna like have another piece of bread and probably just have some, like that. Get another couple hundred calories. So I might turn two pieces of bread. But that's about it. Um, today I did no physical activity. I literally was at a computer all day. Normally I would be at the gym most days of the week, but we're on lockdown, all the gyms are closed unfortunately, which is not great. I don't appreciate that. But um, I couldn't leave anyway. But yeah, so then what I do when I'm home here is every other day I kind of do like a full body-ish workout. And normally I'd go for a run on the day where I didn't do that home workout, but it's so cold outside, it's too cold to run. You have to go to the gym. It's like minus 10 or whatever it is outside. So that's about that, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. Again, it's like I don't eat... I eat the same kind of like macronutrient composition of foods. Um, so like I eat like this probably, let's say three or four days a week and then I have a slightly higher calorie day, an extra, let's say, you know, maybe four or 500 a day I work out. Maybe, maybe a couple more hundred. Um, and of course my caloric estimates, like there's certain things I don't include. So there, it's, it's a little higher than I estimated. Like, you know, I'm not weighing everything. I'm not measuring out absolutely everything. Um, like I don't count my barbecue sauces, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, guys, again, hope that was informative. Um, that's about it. I eat pretty simple. Maybe I'll have one carrot, maybe. I might have a carrot. Probably have a carrot. But that's about it. So uh, until next, everybody, enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, that's what I eat today. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day